Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have something very exciting to me, at least. Um, I bought a bunch of Vive products, finally. So, if you saw my the video where I did uh, Jamie Genevieve's Summer Grunge makeup, I basically followed a tutorial that she had done where she used like products from her line but I didn't have any of them and I did like the look that I came up with but ever since I did that video I was like oh I wish I had that palette I wish I had the blush so if you're in Canada I think the only way you can get Vive is through Cult Beauty correct me if I'm wrong but that's how I got them um, because I believe if you order from, actually no, that's not true. You can order from the Vive website, but uh, I saw some reviews where it was kind of like iffy on the shipping from there because they ship in like really slim packaging and it's very likely that your makeup's going to break. And actually I did have a casualty, which I'll show you, but... Anyway, I got my box from Cult Beauty, so it just came in like a regular box. And actually the Vive products, if you buy them from Cult Beauty, they ship from Spain. So this came all the way from Spain and um, it looks like this inside. So it kind of was just like this. I think there might have been bubble wrap on top if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, the packaging is really nice and like very luxe. Actually everything, there's dust. <laughs> I've had this for a long time. Um, yeah, everything, I was actually surprised at like how good the quality is. I mean, I kind of expected that because Jamie Genevieve, this is her brand if you didn't know. I'm really not doing a good job at this intro, but anyway, um, yeah, it's an influencer brand, so I was expecting, okay, it's probably going to be pretty good, but this feels like, um, like Victoria Beckham or like, you know, like a very high-end celebrity brand, and I was pretty impressed with everything, and I find it's pretty, I don't know if I want to say affordable, because like, if I took in the exchange rate and the duties and all of that, um, it was not that cheap, but I did get some freebies, um, so yeah, and I think I had a code, so it wasn't that bad. But anyway, um, so I got all the products that I wanted, and one that I wasn't even going to pick up, but when I went to the Call Beauty site, I believe I went there because the blush that I really wanted was out of stock forever and it came back in stock so I went to check and I had like already stuff in my cart from Vive and when I went in my cart there was a free full size highlighter and I was like wait what? <laughs> so that was like another thing that pushed me over the edge to just buy these products so I got a free highlighter it's the shade Holy Chic which um I was a little concerned it was going to be too deep for me, but it's not too bad. This is what it looks like. Anyway, I should probably just get started so that this video isn't a million years long. I also got a sample of the NARS Tinted Moisturizer when I ordered this, so that's what I have on today. And it's really not my shade. Um, I had this shade, well it was like a four pack, where did I put it, oh, it's right here. So it came with four um, shades, this was the lightest one, Alaska, which is called Light 2, so I was like, well definitely that will work, but it's like very warm. It looks better on camera, I think, but um, if you were wondering about the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, I really like the formula, but this shade I would not purchase for my skin type. And I'm sorry the lighting keeps going in and out because I'm in front of the window and I guess the sun is like going in and out of clouds. Anyway, too much talking. 
<laughs> okay, so I have everything on my face except for blush, highlighter, eyeshadow, and lips because those are the products that I bought. So I think we'll start with the blush just to, you know, get the base done. So this is kind of what I was most excited about, the V the Sunset Blush. And I got the shade Pesca. And this is like a really popular shade. So this is the packaging. It is um, cardboard, but it feels like, like kind of like faux leather kind of. And there's the Vive little logo. And I'm just going to peel this off if I can get it. <laughs> See like how Lux. And it's like nice and, it's not heavy, but it's like weighted, you know? And this is what the inside looks like. So you have a mirror with the little V, another plastic. I haven't even swatched this. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. And these blushes, um, I think they actually won an award. I don't remember which one, but anyway. Just that to say that they're well loved. Um, so I'm just gonna use my regular blush <laughs> brush, and I think these are supposed to be very pigmented. So I'm just gonna start lightly. Oh yeah, there's like a lot of kick up in the pan, so I feel like that means they're gonna be pigmented. Ooh. Yeah, I just like dabbed really lightly and I already have like a lot of color. So when I did film that um, summer grunge look, I was trying to like dupe this blush in that video with something I had in my collection and I actually didn't have like a really like pure peach blush. A lot of my blushes are like peachy tones, but nothing really just like peach. Like when you look at this, that is peach. I have a lot of like pinky peach blushes, but yeah, I just really wanted this blush ever since I did that video and I really like how it looks. It's really like smooth and blended really nicely. So we'll see where I go with the eyes. Maybe I'll add more later, but I think for now that's really nice. And then the highlighter. So the highlighters are called Nova Glow highlighters. So the packaging, the outside packaging looks like this. And then it's a similar packaging just bigger for the highlighter. This highlighter looks like it does have like micro glitters in it, so I am a little concerned about that, but let's just try it. And like I said, this was free. Um, I don't think I would have purchased this because from the reviews that I have seen of Vive, like the highlighter isn't people's favorite of her line so yeah but I mean a free full-size highlighter how could I resist um, I'm just using a fan brush because honestly I'm not sure <laughs> how like intense this will be okay it's actually not as crazy as I thought it would. It does have a gold undertone, I will say that. Yeah, and you can see the glitter like, if you look up close, I feel, but 
from afar, it doesn't look like you have all kinds of glitter on your face. And it's not like falling all around, you know? It's like part of the base of the shade, I guess. Yeah, but I can see why this isn't like people's favorite formula for a highlighter because of the, those glitters, but it does look nice on the skin. Those were the two um, base products that I got. So let's move on to the eyes. So this is um, pretty much what I've been wanting this since I did that video, aside from the blush, it's the Vive The Essential Palette. So it just comes in like a sleeve like this. And again, same kind of like faux leather with the gold Vive here. So one thing to note, um, unfortunately, I think my package was like thrown around. <laughs> and it got dented and it's like not like you can't push it back into place so that kind of annoys me because I am someone that likes their makeup to look like in pristine <laughs> pristine is that the word? pristine condition anyway this is the palette which has a huge heavy mirror it honestly feels a lot like the um, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, if you have that, you know how the mirror is like very heavy and you can fold it all the way, so it's the same with this. And just look at these shades. So, um, I feel like for me this is a very fall look, although it's meant to be like an essential palette, so like just colors that you can wear at any time, like, and for every day or for nighttime that kind of thing and yeah this is totally my color story i love these like mustardy shades as you might know and um in the video where i duped like the look that she did when she used this palette she used this shade chow all over her eyelid and i used the shade um i believe it's called new wave from the subculture palette. Actually, I have it right here. I'll just compare the two. So I used the shade New Wave when I did her look. And as you can see, it's pre quite similar, but I think this one is maybe like a bit more orange. But anyway, back to this palette. I just feel like these are my tones. And this is a huge palette. Like I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Like these pens are giant. So I think I'll have this forever. <laughs> so I am gonna go in with the shade So Shy just to set my lid. And I'm happy to see the shade in the palette because that means for me, I can use it as my eyelid setting shade, if you will, because I do use my Urban Decay Primer Potion every time I do my eyeshadow, so I just like to set it down with something. That is like a very light cream shade, and if you couldn't tell, because it looks like almost white on camera, but it's it is almost white actually. It's very light. So you could use that as like an inner corner matte highlighter if you like to do that. I kind of want to do like a fall look because um, it is fall as I've mentioned. For me fall begins when Starbucks starts selling pumpkin spice things. 
and that was like August 26th or something. So it's been fall since then. Um, so yeah, let me use the shade Buff, this one here, as my transition shade. And there is like some kick up in the pan, but nowhere near as much as like the Anastasia formula, if you were wondering. That blended really easily. I should zoom in probably. That's good. I don't think you could see <laughs> what I was doing before. Um, yeah, so this is just like your typical like um, camel brown shade. That's a really good transition for me and if you have my skin tone. And then like for the crease, I'm going to use the shade Delicious, which is like a chocolatey brown. That's really pretty. And I will say I'm going pretty gentle and there's a lot of pigment and I like that um, it's not sticking anywhere. It's really pretty also. Okay, I'm already really happy with this. kind of want to use the shade Cozy. Cozy? But it's C-O-S-Y. Is that how you pronounce Cozy? I always spell it with a Z. Um, <laughs> I want to incorporate that somehow. Maybe like, okay, yeah, from like the middle to the outer corner. I feel like this is a very unique shade. I don't even know, like, how would you describe this? It almost looks pink on camera, but it's kind of like a terracotta, but with a bit of more, with a bit more pink than red, if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> it's really pretty. And yeah, again, so much pigment and I am going like really gently. Typically I'm not like heavy handed with eyeshadow anyway. So yeah, this is really easy to get the color down. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with this like flat brush and I'm going to put the shade which one? I'm going to go in with the shade Thea. This like nice bronzy glittery shade. Ooh, okay, I think this is kind of, yeah. It's very like, um, almost creamy. So the brush didn't like pick up the shimmer right away. I had to kind of like swirl it. So let's see if this applies with the brush. Yeah, I think this one I'll have to use my finger because it's it has like some chunkiness to it. <laughs> let's see. I guess I should have swatched this before so I would know but even like on the finger I don't know if you can see like how it's kind of chunky yeah that is a very strange <laughs> shade I don't know because looking at it in the pen You'd think it looks like it's gonna be like a, you know, dimethicone -y. 
like it's going to be creamy, but it actually feels quite dry. And it doesn't look as like metallic as I was expecting. It's more like a, like it has a darker matte base with a lot of gold sparkle. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. Okay, just not what I was expecting, but it still looks pretty. Um, but I do want something lighter, like on the inner corners. So let me find my brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Glimmer, which looks very light <laughs> on camera. It's like a light champagne shimmer shade. looking for yeah so that other shade I almost feel like you have to apply it with a um, either with like maybe a glitter glue or a damp brush to get the base and the glitter to apply evenly it's more a little more tricky to work with I feel but this one is like your typical smooth like shimmery shade which I like so for the lower lash line I'm going to go back in with buff which was like the transition shade that I used and pretty much just go across the whole lower lash line and the shade cozy I hope I'm saying that right Maybe in the UK you spell cozy with an S. Let me know if you're from there. <laughs> I really like that shade a lot. Okay. And maybe just a touch of delicious brown just on the very outer corner by the way I didn't mention I think I'm gonna try a wing and lashes today so wish me luck <laughs> I just feel like you can't do a Jamie Genevieve look without a wing And then I'm going back in with that light shimmer shade just on the inner corner. Pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and I'll be back. Um, because we have lips also, which I am very excited to try. Okay guys, <laughs> don't look too closely at my wings or my lashes because I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like <laughs> my eyes don't match and I look super weird. But these are the same lashes. I'm confused. Anyway, I used the Velour Silk Lashes in the, sh in the style. Uh, Oh, another shot of Wispy. Um, I feel like they're barely hanging on. <laughs> I don't know. But these, they do, I do like these more than some other lashes I've tried on my channel. If you've seen those disaster videos. Um, yeah, and my wings got crazy. But, <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like trying wings and eyelashes today in the spirit of Jamie Genevieve. Um, also after I put that on I felt like my upper lid was like super heavy so I put some of this Marc Jacobs Rococo 
eyeliner on my waterline just to like make it more match on the bottom I guess um, yeah I'm just really not used to seeing my eyes with lashes on so I feel super weird and for some reason I feel like this eye looks the eyelashes are longer I don't know just disregard that um, I do want to put some more blush on just because I feel like my eyes got pretty heavy Yeah, I really like this blush. It is very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Okay, so like I mentioned, I do have lip products to try. I have a lip liner and a lipstick, and I got the Modern Lip Definer. Those, that's the name of the lip liners in the shade. There's hair on my nose. Um, what shade is this? Oh, Bark. In the shade Bark. And the lipstick, which I was really excited about, and unfortunately, this is the product that came broken. Um, these are called the Modern Matte Lipsticks, and I got the shade 9Ts, like 9Ts, get it? So I'm very excited about this because I feel like it's going to be, like the name says, like a nice 90s brown nude. So actually the whole bullet like broke at the bottom. And I just like stuck it back in, so I hope it'll stay that way. But when it came, like the whole bullet was in the lid, so it was really like broken for sure. I probably like melted and then re, you know, stuck together in transit. These smell really good. They smell like the Tarte eyeshadows, if you know what that smells like. So. Oh, and this is the packaging, which is really nice and luxe. It has the same, like, pebbled faux leather kind of style as the, the blush and all that. Um, and it has a magnetic closure, which is really nice. Really nice touch. And the lip liner just looks like this with the shade on the bottom, of course. And it's like one of these kind. It's like a gel lip liner. Um, so it is sharpenable, but it's not like a pencil, if you know what I mean. So I'm hoping these two shades go together. I tried to get like a deep brown lip liner, which I've been looking for. Yeah, this should be good. So that's the liner and that's the lipstick, which is um, kind of not as brown as I was expecting, but I think it's going to look nice together. So let's put the lip liner on first. Oh, um, I guess you can't really see. Yes, that is the lip liner shade I've been looking for. Um, if you guys saw some of my other videos, I've been trying to find like a brown liner and I feel like even the ones that say they're brown always lean pink. So this one looks promising. And it's very smooth.
So I'm just like shading in on the corners. That is a nice shade. I could see people wearing this like all over the lips just as their lip color. But let's go in with the lipstick and I'm gonna be really gentle so that I don't break it. Yes, that is exactly the combo that I wanted. I love it. I love that shade. It's been very difficult for me to find a nude that suits my skin tone and my lips because my lips are very pink naturally. So they always turn nudes pinker, but this one has like just the right undertone that it stays like a neutral. I really like it. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Okay, well, I guess that is everything. Yes, that's everything that I wanted to try. Well, that's all the products I got from Vive. Oh, and if you're wondering if you're in Canada, um, I didn't get charged extra like customs or anything on my order which I really like and that's another reason I ordered from Cult Beauty because I think if I order from Beauty Bay, Vive is not sold at Beauty Bay but if you order from Beauty Bay and you live in Canada um, you will get charged customs in case you were wondering but not from Cult Beauty which I like. So overall, like that whole ordering experience wasn't bad except for the fact that something came damaged, but yeah, um, things come damaged from ColourPop to me also, so I'm not like saying that's just a cult beauty issue, but yeah, that is everything. I'm really happy with everything. The only thing I will say is that eyeshadow that chunky one was like kind of hard to work with but the mattes were beautiful but I'm gonna um, re-watch her video when she launched this to see if she said anything like if she gave any tips like how to use the shimmer shades because I wasn't really sure like what to do with that um, because usually like a shade like this that looks very metallic is very easy to apply either with your finger or with like a damp brush but this one almost feels like a baked formula it's very different from something i've tried before so i'm gonna have to do some research on that but the mats were amazing they blended super nicely i really liked the shades that i used um, yeah, and this will like be probably mentioned, no, it will be mentioned in my fall palettes video when I get a chance to film that because this is just like fall in a palette to me. Let me know if you guys have tried um, Vive also or if you've tried anything that I haven't. I really am curious about her bronzers. Um, so yeah, but I think I might wait until there's something like I really want to buy so that I can like do a whole cult beauty order again because like I said, I'm in Canada so I do have to pay like the exchange rate and everything so it's not a place that I would order from regularly like Sephora or anything. But that is it. So I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!